welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I'm here today for another Percy Jackson vlog. Listen, I'm just going to come out right out and say it. I don't know why I vlog as soon as I wake up. My eyes are so puffy. I'm so sorry. I don't know who that woman is. Not me. I am more put together than this. My favorite time of the month is here. It's finally time to read another Percy Jackson book. After an amazing success last month with The Lightning Thief, this month, Haunani and I are reading The Sea of Monsters. If you watched my vlog last month, you'll know that I want to read all these books in one reading sprint that me and Haunani do. So today it is about 10 something and I don't want to start this yet. This book is much shorter than The Lightning Thief. It's only 279 pages. So I really do think I could get it done in the sprints. This time, I promise you, I will get it done in the sprints. I'm going to really try. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know what the Percy Jackson series is about, it basically follows this kid named Percy Jackson, who on a school trip starts to realize that weird things are happening to him. And he kind of becomes tangled up in Greek God kind of stuff and discovers that he is the son of a certain Greek god. And I will try not to spoil this book specifically in the rest of the vlog, but if things relate to the first book, I might spoil them. And also like, why are you watching this vlog if you haven't read the first book? So it's your fault actually, if you get spoiled, not mine. So right now I'm currently watching Simone's sprints. She's doing a Easter weekend starting sprints before me and Honani sprints. And she's with my friends Lucy and Zoe. So I'm really excited to participate. I just hopped in. Um, they only started about an hour ago. So I think I only missed really the first sprint. What I will be reading until I pick up The Sea of Monsters is continuing my read of The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. Unrelated to this vlog really, but um, I am 100 pages into it. I love The Lord of the Rings. So so this has been really interesting. It's kind of like history of the world or like kind of like a creationist Bible type of story for the entire Tolkien universe. It's really confusing, I have to say, uh, but I am enjoying it. But whatever, unrelated. This is not a vlog about this book. There's about 10 minutes left in the sprint. So I'm going to be finishing my coffee. I'm also watching my friend Lauren's April TBR. Um, so I think I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of this first sprint and then crack on into this while I wait for Hawaii's time to catch up to Montreal time and how Nani and I can sprint. I don't know what I'm gonna do for this vlog because I don't really have much to offer it's easter so like not even a lot of places are opened i don't know we'll see We're off sprints. I did get 50 more pages into the Cimmerillion, but what I'm also doing while they're talking, I'll give you a little hint because I don't want to Okay, that's it. If you know what that map is, then you know what type of readathon I am planning. So that's really exciting. Um, planning a bigger readathon takes a lot more work. Um, and I'm trying to figure out like a map and like prompts to go with this specific map. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really excited for it, but it is taking me quite a bit of time um to get through. I might go for a walk soon, um, just so that I could have vlog footage for you guys, and then I'll make it back in time to start the sprints. So see you then.
Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> Stay on the channel. Why am I always like this? Like, <laughs> maybe <I> actually. <laughs> Maybe you should check your prescription. <laughs> these aren't these are blue light glasses. <laughs> Hello, so we currently have 10 minutes left in our first sprint, and so far I've gotten about 55 pages into Sea of Monsters. There are a couple of things I do want to talk about. Um, the first is less serious. Adabeth calling the let me see if I could get the actual word of what they are. Percy at school um gets attacked by Lestrigonians. Lay Lay Strigonians, and they're basically um, monsters. They are a race of giant cannibals who live in the far north. And Percy's like, what would you call them in English? And she's like, Canadians. Thanks, Senebeth. That's nice. Um, but the second thing I want to talk about is actually a bit more serious. Um, last time I praised Percy Jackson for like not being stuck in the early 2000s um, and kind of holding up well for what it was. However, very, very, very early on um, in the book, the R word is used and it was kind of like jarring to see it in the book. But these are like the new ones, 2014, I think. So I don't understand why it wasn't changed or at least like acknowledge that it was more wrong like Percy is more upset that his friend is referred to with the R word rather than the fact that the R word is a bad word and I think given the time period and given that we now know that using the R word is a slur Rick Riordan could have went in and done a little bit of editing um, either not using the word at all or establishing that that is a terrible and horrible word to say on the bullies part to Percy's friend Tyson. So I think that could have been better handled. Um, but other than that, I am really enjoying it. We're getting introduced to a lot more mythical creatures within the first 55 pages, which is super interesting. Um, a lot of fun, obviously. And we are reunited with Annabeth, who I really, really like. Um, and I like how the story is integrating the concept of Cyclops with Percy Jackson's world. Um, the only thing is that the R word kind of threw me off um, and left a sour taste in my mouth. I don't expect this to be this book to be a five stars because of that. Um, I can let you know now it, the highest it could be is a 4.5 probably. Just because again, like I said, because it has been republished, something could have been done to like alleviate that. Especially for a book and for an author who are kind of praised or um, thanked for including ADHD and dyslexia rep in their books. That didn't sit well with me, you know what I mean? I will continue reading. We have about six minutes left in the sprint before we take a break. Um, so I'll probably read until then. So I will see you later when I have something else to update. Page 55. Oh, wow. Yeah, when you put this, I wasn't there yet. And I was like, okay, well, now I know Annabeth's coming back. <laughs> Bruh. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm literally the worst. But yes. War breaker. Breaks wars. Sorry. I thought somebody. <laughs> that was not what that was. <laughs> 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 like. <laughs> When in the early 2000s, when you would like watch an anime, and they'd be like, next time on Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Warbreaker breaks war. What did, which one says he have? He has the Stormlight Archive. Not you going like goggles. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, my glasses don't work. I'm like, in his book. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> They're like my glasses, like they're just decoration. <laughs> Dionysus. Dionysus. Can you hear that? Dionysus. Yeah. Dionysus. 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 Hello, so I just got to page 150 of Percy Jackson and the Sea Monsters. I don't have to hold it up because you're watching this vlog. I don't know why I keep doing that. So me and Hanani were talking um during the sprint, uh, one of the breaks, and I'm liking the book, but I don't think I'm liking it as much as I like the first one. The first one I felt instantly connected to the book and I was enjoying every page, and for this one I'm just not enjoying it as much. I really like Tyson, he's a new addition to the book, he's a cyclops, and I'm really enjoying 
his personality like his addition to the group i think is really cute and the way that percy is kind of defending him or like learning to love him despite the fact that he embarrasses him and whatever and obviously we're gonna have a message of like friendship and blah 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 like the plot itself isn't captivating me as much and i don't exactly know why because it doesn't have necessarily a different trope or like a different plot as the first book it's just not appealing to me as much this time around i'm thinking though because where i'm at in the point of the book clarice has found them um hiding from a hydra and that was actually one of the more interesting aspects of the book so i'm really hoping that the story picks up from here and i'm going to enjoy it a lot more but i can definitely tell that this is not going to be a five star read and maybe that's the reason why i'm not enjoying it as much because i felt like from the beginning i wasn't gonna enjoy it i don't really know and i'm not gonna get like too introspective about it another aspect that i really enjoy is the like eviler character of the book named luke and without spoiling the first book or this book um i'm not gonna talk about exactly who luke is or what he does but i really like his story as well i think he has a really interesting story and he definitely has daddy issues like 1000 percent. i think it's like really interesting to see percy and luke interact with one another i really like this aspect of talia if we dive into the backstory of talia who is a character that died previously um before percy met annabeth and luke and whatever and i would really like to know more about her backstory i think it would be really interesting sorry my boyfriend came home so there's like a changing in the way i look my apologies but basically i really like um that backstory and i hope we get more into it from here on out i don't think i'll be finishing it in the sprints i make this promise to myself every time and i don't fall through with it so we'll see what happens but i don't think this is happening this is what i recognize i yeah. have never seen this man in my life <laughs> <laughs> what i hate to say it i hope i don't sound ridiculous i don't know who this man is i mean he could be walking down the street i wouldn't i wouldn't know a thing Sorry to this man. I'm a little fun devil. <laughs> like, first of all, why is it so much cooler than my two that I showed? <laughs> this is so <laughs> creepy. I so, like, it. people from ASU, they always go like, like this. Why? I'm, it's like the trident. The Sun Devil tried it. Percy Jackson! <laughs> I'm on page 170. When, oh! That's what you're on, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I have a problem. With, Tell I mean, me. I'm just like... Yeah, I, wa I was so curious about how you were going to feel about this bob. Because I'm just like... That's so irritating. Aren't they, like, off the coast of Florida? Yeah, exactly. Is, like, on the in a different ocean. Yeah, and also, mm -hmm. like, I was a little bit, like, weirded out by the Confederate ship yeah. that we were just ran like out of yeah. everything yeah because it, she like the explanation was that aries is like the god of war obviously right yeah. so like these people are indebted yeah. to her yeah. and i'm like i'm sorry did like we're off the coast of florida okay yeah and i don't know if it's like to make us not like clarice i don't know i i yeah. was like that's weird then all of a sudden that she's like, you want to come to a, a luau, right? Is that how it's yeah. pronounced? Uh, yeah, yeah. You want to come to a luau? And I'm like, what is happening in no, this yeah, entire portion? <laughs> she's like, well, I'm sure Cece will want to speak to you, with you personally before the luau. Come, please. I'm like, are we, like, in Florida? Hello, so I did an update yesterday when I ended up getting at, but I got to page 201 and I did want to talk about something like really weird. I don't know, this book has a lot of weird things. So the first thing is that when Clarice comes to save Percy and Annabeth, she comes in like a boat of Confederate soldiers. And it's really weird and it's explained in a way that like Ares is the god of war, so people have like died for him, right? But I think like by the time that this was written, there were so many other wars that took place over the sea that could have been used, right? Like, I just don't understand why Confederate soldiers were chosen. Just a weird thing to put in the book. And we were talking about this yesterday on the live show, where it's like, yeah, middle grade is like written for middle grade readers. And if I had read this, like at the age that, let's say it's targeted towards, I don't think I would have known what Confederate soldiers were. Like I, I learned what Confederate soldiers were literally like probably even after high school. Like it's such a weird thing to include. I, I don't get it. And then the second thing that 
we spoke about and because it's like on the sea hawaiian things are kind of incorporated into the book like hawaiian shirts and luau's when where they're going is off the coast of florida and nowhere near hawaii so like really weird things like that that make me like not like the book as much because the first book i had praised it for like aging well i feel like there's things in this book that aren't really aging because of the fact that the world hasn't changed right like if we were like a lot better like living in our like utopian future yeah you know, i would be like ha oh, 2006 yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're just like no still same problem yes yeah, still the same so i don't know i'm a little like it's unclear why this is included or important in the book i don't know i'm gonna try to finish this last night i went out uh, to my stepsister's house so i couldn't finish the book so i'm still on page 200 i just put a load of laundry in and after we're going to my cousin's hockey game because he's playing and i'm so excited to watch him he's so cute and then after that we have easter lunch at my mom's house so i'm gonna try to see what i can finish before we go out to the hockey game and then i will update you depending on what's going on <laughs> Hello, we're here and it's time to end the vlog. Um, I don't think it will come as any surprise that this, hold on, let me get it, that this book was pretty disappointing to me. Um, I'm a little bit sad about it. I ended up giving it three stars, so like right in the middle there, but I don't think it could get any better than that. Like it was really just an average book, but it's so disappointing to me because I loved the first book. I gave it like a complete five stars it was amazing to me part of this disappointment comes first of all that i just wasn't like really captivated from the story i think that was pretty clear like in the sprints if you attended those the plot wasn't as engaging to me and i don't know why because i think it was an interesting like journey and i think the characters in the book were really interesting but like that's it <laughs> i really had some minor problems from the beginning and i made that clear i really didn't like the use of the r word in the beginning i think this book was republished in 2014 could have definitely had some edits in there um used another word but i just think that in 2022 and children are still reading this book i don't know i don't think they should be reading um the use of that word but whatever and then like clarice using an entire ship of confederate soldiers was weird like why and then the flippant use of like hawaiian words terms and lore when they're like on the atlantic side of the united states just off the coast of miami like it just really did not make sense to me um and I just, I was so disappointed because the first book, I really, really, really felt like it aged well. And then this one was like, no, this is definitely written in 2006. I did enjoy Tyson as a new character. I think Tyson is the really like appreciated character of this book overall from what I've seen, every review, every person I've spoken to. Tyson seems to be the like most loved addition to this book. And I really enjoyed Percy's journey with Tyson as well. He learned to like love and appreciate him as a half brother, which I really enjoyed. And I think Percy grew tremendously from learning that lesson in the book and I also really liked the addition of Hermes in the book I like the conversations that him and Percy have I like what he did for Percy how like discussions of families and appreciating your family or doing what you can for your family and how families aren't perfect was discussed because I think that's really important for children to hear so I really liked that aspect I also really enjoyed the final chapter I think the character that appears at the end of the book it was a perfect like ending a perfect cliffhanger so I will definitely um be reading the rest of the series not even just because like I'm hosting this read along but like I genuinely do like Percy Jackson as a character I'm genuinely interested to see where the story goes it's just that this one was not my favorite it seems to be the general consensus like it seems like a lot of people don't really like this one for me it's definitely like the outdated language and the like minor plot problems I had that didn't make me enjoy this one that much so that's it for this vlog next month we will be reading the titan's curse is that what it's called yeah the titan's curse so I'm really excited for this one it's a lot thicker than the sea of monsters and I'm very excited because like I said the way that this one ends makes me very 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 excited to jump into this one so that's it for this vlog I hope you enjoyed it um it wasn't as like eventful as the first one but then I say that and I always end up with like 40 minutes of vlog footage but I hope you enjoyed this anyways. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts. If you would like to follow me on any of my other social medias, I do leave a link down below to my Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram if you would like to follow me there. And because it is the end of the video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. It does wonders for me and my channel, and I appreciate it so much. And that's it. Uh, I don't know how to end these things, so I will see you next time. Okay, bye!